What's going on you lot? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi hello, my name's Lydia. Today, I actually look semi-decent. Don't let me drown. Today I'm doing another tag video and I want to say a big thank you to Louise who found these tag videos for me to do. Today I'm doing the eating disorder tag and I'm going to have the questions in the description down below. If this is relevant to you, I'd love to know your answer so feel free to take part in the comments. So question one, how old were you when your ED began? I have had issues with food for a long time. Um, I was under eating disorder services by age 17 I want to say. I was also under CAMS before then which is Children and Adolescent Mental Health Services so I've been diagnosed with eating disorder since I was around 14, 15. I was diagnosed anorexic first and then recovered and got re-diagnosed as someone with EDNOS which is eating disorder not otherwise specified. I was quite young to be fair when it happened. I didn't know it was a thing. I thought I was just losing weight, you know, not to eat anything. Like that's my mindset at the time. Like it didn't seem like it was wrong or that it was making me ill. It seemed like, oh, I'm losing weight. Great. Maybe I'll have friends. Number two is did you decide to recover or were you made to? So this is a bit of both. Now I'm still struggling with my eating disorder. I was kind of forced into recovery at one point because my body was shutting down. So being a minor as well, I had to like I didn't have a say in it, my mom did. So I was gained a little weight and then I started binging fasting binging fasting and I got myself into a spiral that I'm kind of still in now where I either binge or I just don't eat. Number three what were you diagnosed with? I was diagnosed with anorexia then EDNR and um, my current diagnosis is EDNR. What my eating disorder is, but is and how it manifests itself is through binging and starving. I, I can't make myself throw up that's one thing I can't do like even the idea no. Number four is do you binge? Yes. Number five is do you purge? No. Six who have you watched on YouTube ED Wires? So I watched a YouTuber growing up called Unique RKW, Laura Lejeune, I Drank the Seawater, Sullen Girl. I, I watched a lot of like mental health YouTube when I was younger and I, I, I met Laura as well. Rachel from Unique RKW is still struggling with her eating disorder and she posts updates occasionally. It's kind of a shame that she's still struggling so much. And another eating disorder YouTuber who I watch and I still watch to this day who makes absolutely incredible videos is Envy Malice Mickey, also known as Mickey. She's honestly amazing. Have you ever signed up to a ProAnna website? I had an Instagram account that was linked to ProAnna um, just because I was curious and because I just I didn't want to be alone. I do know it's bad of it, I know it's not good and all of that. I don't I'm gonna say that I don't use it anymore. I'm actually dead set again. Um, if you see it, saw my last video, I ripped apart like the whole guinea thing. Yeah, like no. What do you think we should do to raise awareness? Just talk about it. Don't be afraid to talk about struggles. Yeah, it's all totally okay not to. Like you know, that's not nothing to be ashamed of. But if you feel like you can share your story, tell it because people will listen. And the more people that share the stories, the more validated the disorder becomes, and the more funding it gets for you know treatment options and treatment development. And I think that's the best way to go about it is to just be open, be honest about it, and talk about it. Don't be afraid to have a conversation. And I'm going to say this as someone who has made videos for about 10 years now. When you talk about sensitive subjects like mental health, self-harm, suicide, eating disorders, people target them kinds of videos to hate on. People will always hate and there is nothing you can do about it. And that is a lesson I'm still learning because still stuff going on, stuff going on with me at the moment where I'm getting large chunks of hate at a time, then no hate, then large. It just, you have to have a bit of a backbone when you post stuff on YouTube, which I don't. So the things that stick there to me do affect me. I try not to let them. I think the important thing to remember on YouTube is people will criticise you, people will be mean, people can be horrible. Then there's also the amazing side of the community where we're all, we all just try and support each other. There's the supportive side and the hateful side and unfortunately I know a lot of people that are on the hateful side. That's fine, whatever, they can do that. And with that I am going to end the video here. Thank you for watching, thank you for being here and if you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button because every little click on that makes me, makes me happy. It makes me really happy when I see the numbers go. Well, numbers don't motivate me to do YouTube. I'm not trying to be famous off of YouTube, but knowing that, like, when I read comments that are like, oh, you help me, I, I can't explain the feeling. I, I can't. And with that, I'm gonna go because I'm tired. Look in the morning, I shouldn't be tired yet, but I am. Bye, guys.